guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making a fun pinwheel wreath and this is very inexpensive. Everything just about it is from Dollar Tree. So what you'll need to do is pick up three pinwheels from Dollar Tree and some of them don't have the sunflower but um, you can get them with or without the sunflower and the sunflower pops off but I thought this was really cute, so we're gonna keep the sunflower on for mine. Okay, and you will need some six inch deco mesh, and I will be using this to tie a bow. You will need some floral stem wire. You're going to need some burlap ribbon, and this is also from Dollar Tree. I have a couple rolls, because I didn't know how many it would take for sure. Then you're going to want to pick up from Dollar Tree a wreath form, and this is the 14 inch wreath form from Dollar Tree. You'll need your hot glue gun, glue sticks, and you'll need something to cut this um, stake off of the back of your pinwheel. And that's it, so give me a second and we'll get started. You're going to want to take your three inch burlap ribbon and you're going to flip your work wreath to the back, slide your ribbon under it, and you're going to hot glue the ribbon on. Hold it for just a little bit. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna flip your wreath over and you are just going to want to take your burlap ribbon and you are just going to wrap your wreath form. And you can add hot glue every so often if you want, but just wrap it around. Try to get it as nice and even as possible and try not to overlap too much. But I'm gonna do the same process all the way around the wreath. This is how it looks wrapped with the burlap ribbon and it will take two rolls of the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to take your six inch burlap ribbon and you're going to let out a tail, probably about an eight inch tail and then you're going to hold it tight, the center tight in your left hand, and it tries to snag or hang up on itself, so you kind of have to work with it, but you'll just go back and forth, keeping it pinched tight in your left hand, making the loops about the same size each time until you get the bow the size you want. Like I said, it tries to stick together and hang together, and it's kind of hard to do, but it turns out to be a pretty bow, so just be patient with it. But try to make your loops about the same size and keep it tight in your left hand. Okay, and we're gonna let out a tail, and you'll want some floral stem wire close by. And you're just going to wrap the floral stem wire around the center of your bow. a few twist. Okay, and then you're going to want to fluff your loops. Then I'm going to add it on the center of the bottom of my wreath. I'm just going to wire it to the wreath. You just fluff your loops. just a little bit of time. Sorry about my chihuahua. Okay, and that's how it looks so far. And I'm just gonna wire it onto the wreath. You just wanna take your floral stem wire that you tied your bow with, thread it through the burlap ribbon, thread it through your wreath all the way to the back, and you're gonna to go to your back and give it a few twists. And then you can cut off the extra wire when you get finished. Okay, then you'll have to fluff your loops again. 
and then we'll add the pinwheels in just a second. Okay, we just cut off the stake that was on the pinwheel and then we popped off the sunflower and we'll have to hot glue it back on because you want to be able to thread your floral stem wire through the pinwheel and that way it makes it easier to attach to your wreath. So I'm just gonna go to the back, give the wire a few twists. And then I'm gonna use these wires and I'm gonna thread it through the pink burlap ribbon thread it through the wreath and give it a few twists on the back just like I did the bow. So try to work it through carefully and then like I said go to the back and give it a few twists and then we'll hot glue the sunflower back on. But I'm trying to put the pinwheels kind of where they're tucked under the bow a little bit. It's kind of the look I'm going for. Okay so let me flip it over and give it a few twists to the back. and we can trim those off at the end. Okay, so this is kind of the look I'm going for and I'll have this hot glue back on, but I'm gonna put one on the right side also and then I'm gonna uh, wire one in on the very top of the wreath. Okay, my daughter's just adding a little hot glue to the back of the sunflower. She's just gonna place it back on and let it dry for a little while. We have all three pinwheels wired on. This is just a simple and fun, inexpensive wreath. So in just a second, she'll have everything glued on. Here it is, finished and ready to hang on our door. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share. I hope you have a great day. I just wanted to show you how it looks hanging on the wall and I kind of just squished the bow together so that you could see the sunflowers a little bit more. And I also wanted to show you a second option. I purchased two butterflies at Hobby Lobby. I think they were around $3. And so I just put a pinwheel in the center and two butterflies on each side and it's wrapped with the same deco, not deco, burlap ribbon as the first wreath. So the